Greetings one and all. How's everyone doing? I hope well. I thought I would go over all my drinking vessels real quick. And uh, the one you see rather often is this green enamel uh, mug. So it's me I had someone ask me what kind of material that was. It's metal. Uh, my brother Mike gave me that back to me. Thank you, brother. And then I have the blue one, which I just bought at, you know, almost any outdoor store has these. And then from the Stanley Adventure set, I have the green cup, which is very good. I like it a lot. So I typically will just rotate these three as I'm going. So I have drank from the canteen cup. But sometimes when you when you cook with it, the, the rim gets kind of hot, so you get uh, you can burn your lips. So that's why I typically like drinking out of these because I can boil, move the water in, make my beverage, and then immediately start boiling again. And you know the extra weight's not too bad. Then there's my uh, I haven't had this out in a while. I need to do that. It's the Avargo Titanium Mug. It has a lid to it. I just drop it in a cozy that I made. So if I'm doing like a dehydrated meal, I can just put the meal in here, pour the water in, keep it set. It's not really a drinking vessel, but you could use it as such. The uh, REI measuring cup is like a dollar seventy-nine, weighs next to nothing. I was uh, I'm always told to stop carrying it, but I like it, so I'm gonna bring it. This biggie. So, we, of course, you go to your Nalgene bottles and you have your Guyette bottle, stainless steel. What they don't tell you is, man, these things are heavy. I mean, this thing full of water is like three pounds. So, then you have your classic canteen, which I haven't used in quite a while, but still have it. And then there's the good old plastic Nalgene, which, you know, I like these. You know, they're, they're not bomb proof, but you know, I've dropped them and they've been fine, so good stuff. And just because I have it with me today, I'll throw some weights at you. The green cup is 1.7 ounces, the blue. It's not surprising, it's 2.1 ounces, so it's actually a little bit heavier than the green. The green cup, 1.2 ounces. The canteen, 4.6 ounces. The Fargo titanium mug is uh, 1.8 ounces, so it's actually less. This is 1.4. This is actually heavier for titanium. Now it's showing two ounces. What is the scale doing? Come on, buddy. It's zero for me. Scale's kind of being picky today. So now it's saying that. Yeah. Now it's saying 3.7 ounces. Maybe the batteries are going are going low. So with Cozy, 4.3, 3.8 ounces, 4.2 ounces, 2.9 ounces. This beefy bad boy is 3 pounds 2 ounces. As I drop it. So this isn't full of water, unfortunately, but I guess I could fill it up and see if it has, if it's different weight than the stainless steel. I imagine it, it is. Fill that puppy up. So, now Jean is 2.9 ounces. A lot of that's water weight. 
Alright. Yeah, scale, man. Do you scale cap out on you? No, it's still working. I'm just going to thin it a little bit. I'll just box it up and... Alrighty. That's all out of the way. Okay, so uh, since I'm doing a short video, I thought I'd also throw in utensils. Oop, got a couple of knives in there. So I, I this is a recent addition. It's a stainless steel spork. I bought this three dollars at um, Army Navy Superpro Store. I'll link their website below. Then I just have some dollar store um, silverware, two spoons, two forks, buck each. I have two more at home, so I have spares. I carry these quite, I actually will rotate these quite often. I have, apparently I threw an extra fork in there for no reason. Then I have the uh, plastic um, Lexan. So I get the long one for mountain house meals. Just a spoon and a fork, which I'll use from time to time. And then my sprongs, which are, which I did a video on these. I haven't really used these a whole lot. So, I have those, and then I just have my little GSI spatula, which is really nice. Anyway, that's it. I'm not going to weigh these because the scale is being a pain in the ass, so. Alright, just a quick little video. If you have any questions or comments, Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, put it down below and I'll catch you in the next one.